Today's the day. I spent the past two and a half hours screwing this back together, re-soldering all of these different wires inside of it, and haven't tried it out yet. But I really hope this thing works. <laughs> it took me so long. Let me get out of this fire hands way. So there's no image transition transmission signal right now, which is kind of worrying me because one of the wires that I had to mess with was the antenna. Yeah, hopefully I didn't screw that up. That'd suck. There's one more thing I can try. Look at that. Look at that. I don't think you can even see it. Image is back online. I'd like to thank my fans. I'm here all week. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do right now? We're about to go. Um, it's gonna be the moment of truth and I realize whether or not all of my work for all this time was for absolutely nothing. It might work, honestly, but it might not. But you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna send it up into that branch. Where, where are we at? That branch right there, because that's exactly where I crashed it last time. 15 feet off the ground. All right, so let's do this. My drone, this is me. This is my controller. Okay, so I went back inside for a little victory lap. Gotta do it. After I just took that shot and I got my filters because I wanna use them. These right here, I got an ND4, ND16, and then a circular polarizer filter. They all do different stuff. These two are essentially like sunglasses and then this one is, I mean like polarized sunglasses. I'm gonna use the ND16 because it's the darkest and we'll see what we get. Boop. The picture is incredibly clear. It's. It's wonderful. My shutter speed is super low, which um, it's essentially like the camera equivalent of you not having to squint. So my, you know, you can see it on a bright sunny day, but you're squinting. But if you got sunglasses on, it feels better. It looks better. You look cooler, most importantly. And my drone looks cooler with sunglasses on. And, uh, and all that is just like money. I'm beyond happy right now. That was so, so worth it. So worth burning my fingers several times and spending almost 100 bucks to fix it, but oh, glad it happened. Um, that's pretty much the only fun thing I'm gonna do today. I got four important calls to make and then a whole bunch of work, so. Jeff, how's it going? Doing well. Austin, what's up? See ya. You've reached your cell phone of Tyler Bradley. Please leave a message after the beat. What's up, brother man? Just wanted to call, see what you're up to. I'm at the coffee mm -hmm. shop right now. That was dope. That guy is the coolest dude ever.
He's uh He's actually thinking about Hey, it's my camera. Going to UF for architecture. So maybe I'll walk in with a friend. That'd be pretty cool. That is kinda that is just kinda wild, huh? That the guy that I just so happened to meet at a coffee shop because I asked him if I could film him making a coffee happens to be going to UF in the fall just like I am. That's crazy. But pretty cool. Okay, some of y'all are probably wondering where my old friend is and why he's not here with us right now. It's because he told me that he had to take his girlfriend out on a date uh, because it's her birthday. And they're wonderful, so it's okay. Like, I, I gave him a pass on it, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, your girlfriend, it's her birthday, so you can, you can kind of make an exception for that one. But they've been awesome. They're awesome people. And we'll talk with them tomorrow. But uh, they were awesome through the whole process at, at, the, uh, at the academy and everything. Uh, so, Abby, happy birthday. Hope you all have fun. Tomorrow morning at 7. That's going uh, to be the time for the coffee date. That's a spoiler. It's going to be a coffee date. But. Good thing credit cards are waterproof.